In previous videos, we discussed how we can use a solid body to define the stock material in instances where we're casting or forging the part. But what happens if you've created a part, for example, that has an as-cast and an as-machined configuration? Can you use the as-cast configuration to control the stock material when machining the part? Well, you can. It just needs to be done in the context of an assembly. So, if you plan on following along, open up assembly file, and again I say assembly file 4.5. With the assembly file open, you'll notice I've already inserted the as machined configuration of my housing and fixed it to the origin. Let's quickly open up the housing just to see the two configurations. So select it and select Open Part. On the configuration tree, we have two configurations. The as machined configuration and the as cast configuration. In the as cast configuration, I've added 40 thousandths of an inch to all of the machined surfaces. So we know the part has two configurations. Let's tab back to the assembly and look at how we use the one configuration to control the stock for the other configuration. The first trick is we need to make sure origins are visible. If your origin is not visible, on the heads up toolbar, make sure origins are turned on. Now, we're going to drag a second instance of this housing into the assembly. To do so, hold control, Select the part from the feature tree and drag it into the graphics area. Don't release the mouse yet though. We want to hover over the origin and when the part is on top of the origin, I'll release the mouse and then control. When I click off, we'll notice I have two housings on top of each other and both are fixed. Now what we're going to do is select the second instance of the part and select Component Properties. When the Component Properties window opens, we can switch it to the As Cast configuration and select OK. So we have an As Cast configuration over top of the As Machined configuration. Right click the As Cast configuration and let's change the transparency so we can see the machined part through the cast part. All that's left to do is set up the job and use the part as our stock. So from the CAM tab of the Command Manager, select Job. Now that we're working in an assembly mode, we need to define which parts are going to be our model. So let's just go ahead and remove everything from the box and just select the As Machined instance of the part. Moving up to Stock Definition, we're going to select From Solid. We can now select the As Cast instance of the part. Select OK. And in our job, we're using the As Cast configuration of the part to be the stock for the As Machined configuration of the part. Of course, it didn't have to both be the same part file. When we're in an assembly, we could have created any part file we wanted to define the stock of this part. I hope this lesson has been a help.